Hey everybody, it's Eddie J on crypto. Hope you had a great day. So I released a video earlier today. You should go check it out, honestly. Um, but being how the market is so bad, stock market's bad, the, uh, the crypto market's bad, I thought I'd release another video and show you why I'm so positive on crypto. I mean, yeah, I can be negative. I can, you know, I can look at things and honestly say, yeah, that was a mistake of mine. But I'm so positive on crypto and here, and there are a few reasons why. But you'll learn as I go on with this video. Here's one. Google started a Web3 team out of their cloud services team because they want to capture the potential. A few months ago, I actually released that Alphabet, Google's parent company, was actually looking into this. We'll dig in in a little bit. Paul Tudor Jones, a couple of days ago, I mentioned him. Well, he said something about gold, too. So I figured I'd bring that to you. Something that I was paying attention to was the U.S. Treasury Department has brought sanctions against a cryptocurrency mi mixer by the name of Blender.io. We'll dig into that because that's actually a very significant move. Believe it or not, I find it to be positive. The SEC finally did something today that made me smile. First time in a long time I've been able to smile about the SEC. They have issued or approved a Bitcoin futures ATF, ETF, I keep saying ATF, um, anti-terrorist financing, that's why. Um, but Valkyrie's Bitcoin futures ETF has been approved. That's great. That really is great. It gives us a little bit of hope for a spot ETF. But we'll dig in. Whew. So here's hoping your day actually went well. And there are a lot of reasons why it should have gone well. First of all, if you're watching me, you're still breathing. That's a good reason to be happy. But all jokes aside, Google created a three team out of their cloud services team. That's kind of a big deal. They could have created a team out of anywhere from within the Google arm, but specifically cloud services. And that tells me that there is a lot of things that they're looking at, all kinds of avenues. Hosting of Web3 services, providing consulting for Web3 services, going after different Web3 companies to actually help them, maybe even buy them. Because you know Google gets into a space, they don't just get into a space and look at you. They get into a space and they start buying things. Just a thought. But that actually gives me positive energy as I move forward looking at you know, the, the cryptocurrency space and Web3 technologies. There is an interest, there is growing adoption, and there's a huge ass trillion dollar company. That's right, Google is a trillion dollar company. Tesla used to be one, but <laughs> they dropped out. Gee, I wonder why. But all jokes aside, I think that's a really positive move for the future of the, that technology space. Paul Tudor Jones, a couple of days ago, I told you, I said, this guy came out and he said, listen, I don't understand how you're not long crypto. All the smart folks are starting to move over to Web3 and crypto, cryptocurrency technology. How could you not be long crypto? You know what else he said? He said that crypto is a better hedge against inflation than gold. Yeah, that's going to have a lot of my you know, commodity trader friends sitting there going, oh, cut my pearls. All jokes, but man, that's a big deal. That's a really, really, really big deal for somebody like that. I mean, Paul Tudor Jones is a very well-known, almost legendary freaking investor. And he's like, yeah, no, I've, with the brain drain that's happening in the financial industry, you know, remember the first time it happened, fintechs, with the brain drain that's going on, the intellect, intellectual power that's being levied, you know, growing in that space. Yeah, be long. And when you think about the money that's being able to be moved around, that's the safest place, safer than gold. Actually, the charts actually do show. I'm not going to bother to show you charts. You can go look that up on the internet. But truly, the, chart, the charts will show you 
that Bitcoin has fared better, excuse me, like far better than gold with regard to inflation. Go look that up. I think you I think you would actually be interested in that. Now, North Korea hacked Axie Infinity for over 623 or 620 million dollars. And there is a cryptocurrency mixing site called blender.io that's been directly linked to North Korea. Well, the United States Treasury said, hold my beer. They launched sanctions against that particular group. It's very important because the idea that cryptocurrencies are anonymous is a joke. That's, it's a joke. It's not real. You, it can be tracked, okay? Transactions can be tracked, but these cryptocurrency mixers, what they do is they leverage several different techniques that obfuscate the digital history with regard to digital transactions. So that's actually a very big deal. There are lots of, there are lots of you know, ransomware groups, hacking groups that use services like this. A United States, United States U.S. Treasury Department said, we're coming after you. And it sends a clear signal to North Korea that we see you. That's a big deal. China, we see you. We see you. So that's actually very positive because it starts to add to the trust of these services, of the technology, of the space. That's going to lead to further adoption, and that's going to lead to further opportunity, opportunity that I see right now. The SEC has approved a futures ETF. I think it's the second one. It, they have not approved a spot ETF, but they've approved a futures ETF. Cool beans. Cool beans. About time. We still have hope that one day they will approve a spot ETF, spot Bitcoin ETF. That's what makes this very significant. Valkyrie's Bitcoin futures ETF achieving approval under the 33 Act is very, very nice. Still, I would like to see proper regulation versus enforcement, you know, regulation by enforcement, real regulation, real boundaries, real guardrails, things like that. But I think that was a good move. I think we should start paying attention to what's out there, the opportunities that are out there, and I'll show you a couple. So... When you see everything that's down, like this is right now, you know how I feel about anything that's under, you know, under 5%, right? But everything that's over 5%, you're taking a look at po pocket network down 7%. That's something I would pay attention to. Nexo running crazy ads like everywhere. Don't know a lot about them, but I know that I see their ads everywhere. Um, down 7%. So you're expecting to see some downs. But in the past 24 hours, were you expecting to see some ups? Yeah. There's Gala. Up 7%. Significant move. Monero. Up 7%. Significant move. These guys up here, I don't know about them. I told you I'm not touching Tron. Small, it's, it's a small enough number that I could with, you know, little risk, but I'm not going to put any, I'm not going to put big money into that space. Um, and I told you before, I'm not touching Tron. Like I would need to see a lot. I would need to hear more positive energy about Tron than what they're doing. But look at this. One of my favorites, Algorand up 7% in the past 24 hours. That means it dropped. These coins dropped 
a, a lot of my favorite coins dropped significantly. More importantly, what I want you to look at is look at these coins and how far off they are from their all time highs. You see that? Gala is 82% off of its all-time highs, and they have supposedly one of the best metaverses out there, 87%. So that means if they were to see an upside, they're at 13%. If they were to see an upside, it could be huge. So what am I thinking about doing? You know, whenever I say I'm thinking about doing something, I'm probably going to do it, right? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. These are strict. These are clear opportunities to me. So that's what I'm paying attention to. Something else that I'm paying attention to is the total value locked has dropped by a little bit less than a billion dollars since I reported um, early this morning. I think probably 800 million, right? And when I look at these numbers, I'm sitting back and I'm going, huh, really holding up. I'm pretty sure this space is going to pick up again. You sell on Friday, you re-engage on Mondays. That's usually what happens in the stock market. Crypto space is not the stock market, but a lot of people, you know, we're up during the day. We're not doing anything at night. So I pay attention to what's going on. I, I Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night. I'll grab my phone. I'll look to see what's going on. I'll roll back over, go to sleep. Yeah, that's just me. Um, I will take action if I see something that's truly interesting. I have done that. Fear and greed index. Yesterday was at 22. Actually, earlier today it was at 22. Right now it's at 23. Let's keep telling you, there's a lot of positivity going on in this space. You've got to pay attention to it. You know, this is actually, you know, not so great. You know, five minutes ago, this was at 36 and change. Now it's at 35. But if you look closely, right, you start to see that, you know what? It's not down all that much. Look how far down we were here. Let me close that. Look how far down we were back here. Yeah, February, March, we were lower. It was lower. This up here is bouncing within the space. Now, if it breaks through 33.7, down below 33.7, yeah, we could be looking at 30,000. That's what I'm thinking. I told you I have to get with my brother Elliot to see what he's thinking about. Um, thinking about you know with the charts, what the charts are telling him. He's a great chart and charter. Um, it's not his day job, but he's just really, really good at it. He plays. He pays a lot of attention to it. Um, so that's what I'm looking for. But I'm looking. I'm also looking for opportunities. Look at this ETH Ethereum. That's a, at twenty six eighty seven. That's that's a ridiculous sale price. Bitcoin ridiculous. All of that. All of these puppies, these are ridiculous sale prices to me. Avalanche at 56, Cardano at 77. You know, a little Cardano was way higher than that. Luna at $76, 121 or something like, yeah, I think it was 121 just a couple of weeks ago. I don't know. That's. That's a significant amount of money up. And it'll do it again. It'll definitely do it again. That's something I actually have confidence in. There are certain projects that I hold on to that I have big confidence in, and that's one of them. Where's Doge? Where is Doge? There's Doge at 12 cents. Yeah. The biggest thing about Doge, if Elon whispers something, Doge is going to take off. That's what will happen. <gasps> Doge. Just saying. You know, technic on the technical side, I mean, I, I keep joking about Doge and how it has no utility, but there's one thing that it does have. Speed. Speed and low costs. Yeah. So that's something to contemplate when you're looking at it. That's something I'm really looking at. Terra Luna being down as far as it is, that's a delicious number. I told you, I look at things where I can actually make money on a multiple level versus a percentage level. 
I will definitely take the percentage. Let's not get it twisted. You know, 121 versus 76. I'm just saying that's big. I would take that percentage. But if I can find a place where I can make a multiple, to me, Gala is one of those places where I can make multiple. Uh, v Chain is one of those places where I can make multiple. Hedera is one of those things where I can make a multiple. Hat tip to Nicholas Ducran. That's one of my boys. And he, he put me on to Hedera. It wasn't something that was on my, I mean, it was on my radar, but he gave me a deeper reason to get on the radar. Excuse me, right? Because he's actually liking the project. He gets deep into projects before he makes an investment. I think, I think he actually researches more than I do. So when, when he says something, I take that in. And then I go confirm what, what different people have told me, including him. And then I go, oh, you know, maybe I should pay attention to that. Sometimes I make moves based on numbers. Sometimes I make moves based on technology. I'm a technologist. This is what I do. This is what I pay attention to. I pay attention to who's involved with the project, how, what kind of community they have, what kind of ecosystem do they have. Speaking of ecosystem, phew, you want to know you want to know what coin I'm definitely in love with? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Freaking right here, Polygon. At a buck 4. You kidding me? Yeah, I'm all about Polygon. Polygon's ecosystem is huge. Huge. It's one of the largest out there. So I would be paying attention to Polygon. I would be paying serious attention to Polygon. Seven days down almost 10%, 9.39%. Lordy, that is a sale price. That's a, I mean, a screaming sale. Fire all over it. It's a sale price. So yeah, that's one I'm looking at. Um, I, I also pay attention. One of the, one of my things that I do is I like to buy things that are lower in cost. So would I be interested in buying SHIB at this level? Yup. That 19? Yup. Would I be looking at Polygon at a buck oh four? Yes. Absolutely. Go buy a thousand of those. Sit back and wait for it to hit, you know, two bucks, three bucks. Because I can afford to sit back and wait on that because that's the whole point. This is not a day trading situation. It's not a day trading situation to me. And owning a technology company, I'm looking at how I leverage some of these technologies. I'm looking at how my clients can leverage some of these technologies. But Polygon, powerful layer two with a ridiculous ecosystem. That's what I call a part of the connective tissue chain. Who else do I look at with regard to connective tissue? Um, where are they? Chainlink. Wow. Wow. I didn't even realize they had come down this low at, at, at $10, at less than $11. Chainlink is a steal. I reported a couple of days ago how Chainlink is going to be used as the protocol and network for a property management company or a REIT, basically, a real estate investment trust. You're going to buy the token. The token represents is a smart contract representing the actual real estate holdings, virtual and reality. That's the mix. This is what Chainlink is great at. They're an oracle. This is what they do. They create that bridge between the virtual stuff and the real world stuff. So you buy that token, you own a piece of the REIT, and guess what? You get paid some of the proceeds from the rent as you would as if you owned a REIT. That's huge. It's so huge. I actually sent that, I actually sent that article to a couple of clients of mine who are actually in that space. So pay attention to what's out there. There, there this is a file sa fire sale season. Hold on to it for a little while. Hold on to it for a while. I'm not saying everything is a hodl, right? Hold on for dear life. No. You're gonna see your exit, your exit area, and you're gonna pull it, you're gonna pull the parachute and poof, you'll make your money. But these are things that I'm looking at. Kronos, which is you know, crypto.com being down at 28 cents. Lord of mercy. Yes, I'm all about that. 
all about it. I mean, am I going to buy? Am I going to buy it right now, considering the amount that I have? Probably not. But this is a great price. But I happen to already have some at a great price. Just saying, you know, for transparency. But Chainlink is something that I'd be looking at. Chainlink is big. Chain, that's a that's a big deal. They're, they're a serious part of the connective tissue. I told you why I'm interested in Algorand. I can buy a thousand of these and not even think about it. Buy a thousand dollars worth and put it on the side. And I'm just throwing numbers out there so you get an idea, right? Get a thousand of these, that's gonna be one, two, three, six hundred and ninety-one dollars to own a thousand Algorand. And you can just see how you make money when it hits a dollar, when it hits two dollars. Algorand will hit it. I published a video a few weeks ago on ISO 222. Go watch that video. It's big. Go watch that video. You know why I'm big on Algorand. All right. So take this information. I hope what I'm doing is not just sharing information with you, but sharing how I you know, use that information to come up with my thought processes when I look at everything. If you like what I'm doing, do me a favor, hit the like button, definitely subscribe, and absolutely hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I'm dropping a new video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.